Hi, my name is Patrick, and this is Prep Mindful, your daily video practice in mindful test prep. Coming at you today with an SAT math question. This was question 22 in section 4, the calculator permitted math section on the SAT that was administered in April of 2017. Right there, you can pause the video, pause it, take a crack out of yourself, and then don't pause the video and watch the explanation. Because we're getting in there. It reads, the graphs in the XY plane of the following quadratic equations each have x-intercepts of negative 2 and 4. The graph of which equation has its vertex farthest from the x-axis? Well, that's a weird question to ask. How would we even know that? How far its vertex is from the x-axis? Well, it's sort of an odd way of asking about the y value of the vertex. We want the y value that has the greatest absolute value, since that would indicate how far it is from the vertex. Okay. Well, what is the x value of the vertex? Because if we plug the x value of the vertex into the equation, then it'll shoot out the y value of the vertex. The x-intercepts, they tell us, are negative 2 and 4. And the x value of the vertex has to be directly between those two x-intercepts. So we'll take the average of negative 2 and 4. Negative 2 plus 4 is 2. Over 2, since there were two numbers that we added up, would give us 1. So the x value of the vertex is 1. Now we're going to plug 1 into each of the equations and select the one that gives us the y value with the largest absolute value. So I'll start with this first one. Negative 7 times, 1 plus 2 is 3, 1 minus 4 is negative 3, so that'll be negative 7 times negative 9, or 63. Ooh, impressive. So we got 63 there. Let's move on. B has 1 tenth times, oh, it's the same two roots, that's nice. So 3 times negative 3, negative 9 times 1 tenth is negative 9 tenths, which is cool and all, but not nearly as big as 63. So it's not B, we cross it off. Then we go to C, same roots, so it's negative 9 times negative 1 half or positive 9 halves. Again, funky fraction, but not nearly as big as 63, so the answer is not C. And then we go on to D. Same roots again, so negative 9 times 5, or negative 45. Much closer, but still not as big as 63. So the answer is A. Sweet! There are a bunch of different ways that you can approach a question like that. I find it simplest to take those x-intercept values and average them, thus giving me the x value of the vertex, and then plugging that value into the equation to shoot out the y value of the vertex. In this case, we wanted to know which vertex would be farthest from the x-axis, which was a weird way of asking about the absolute value of the y value of the vertex. A y value of 63 would be 63 units away from the x-axis, and all the other ones were smaller than that. So the answer was A. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, why not subscribe to our channel, or tell your friends, or get a tattoo with this whole problem and explanation on your back? Hmm, maybe don't do that. If you have any questions about this or any other problem, you can hit me up in the comments below, or you can email me at prepmindful at gmail.com. In the meantime, my name is Patrick, and this has been Prep Mindful.